it's a lot of it comes down to the barista. It's how you how you pour the coffee, how you extract the coffee. Great coffee. And I tell you what, this coffee lives up to the height. What makes a good coffee is a great balance of strength and smooth. So I like a strong coffee. It's a really good place. Yeah. Uh, I recommend for you. So this is Midnight Espresso guys. So cheers. Cheers guys. What do you guys recommend, brother? We're gonna go for the oak flat white bro. Okay, oak yeah. flat white. Great coffee. Man, and guess what guys? It was only four dollars. So value for money and it tastes good. Welcome to the channel people. Today we are talking about coffee. And here in Wellington, we have some of the best coffee uh, places here in New Zealand. There is a big, huge coffee culture. So today we're gonna go find out some of these uh, coffee places, see who makes the best coffee. Now this is some of the spots that um, I think make the best coffee in, in Wellington. So let's go, vamos, let's go check it out. Crazy Rabbit Cafe. Crazy Rabbit Cafe. So guys, I'm out here in Haitare in the Crazy Rabbit, one of the best little cafe in all of Wellington. So you guys need to pull up, get yourself a coffee. It's a lot of good uh, things to eat here. Eateries, let me show you guys. A lot of really good breads and scones. Who doesn't love scones? Sandwiches, all these little goodies. But the reason why we're here, we are giving you guys the best coffees in the city. Can I have, uh, what can I have? She knows I'm always on coconut, that's it. Coconut milk. So yeah, coconut milk, uh, cappuccino. Cappuccino? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Thank you. Do you want a regular one or a large one? Uh, I'll just have a, I'll have a regular one. Yeah, sure. Are you having here or takeaway? Uh, take, in a takeaway cup. Yep. So guys, look at this. It's really nice of these guys to let me come and film how the coffee's made. Yeah, See, I can, I can feel the love and care in this take, you know. It's a skill. It's a skill thing. You've got to be a skilled person to have to make good coffee, right? That's it. So, see, and here's, here's the coffee list, guys. Just in case. Thank you. So, there we have our coffee, guys. Let's go, we just got our coffee. Let's step outside. So, brother. Hey, how's it going? Well, uh, tell, tell the people your name. Uh, Jared. Yeah, and uh, you're local to Hatare? Uh Yeah, I live I live uh, around the Hatare area. And do you recommend this cafe to people? Uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's it's definitely got me onto milk coffees. Oh. I'm usually a, a strong coffee like black coffee drinker. Oh wow! Um, so what what coffee what coffee you got there? Uh, I've just got a large latte, and yeah. um, I find that it, it's just it's evenly balanced. Like the coffee. Is strong, but it's also got a nice creamy taste to it, so I find it like pleasant and enjoyable to drink. Nice, yeah, people. We just got our coffee, and um, I got a cappuccino with coconut milk. So here it goes. Ooh, smooth, very nice, pretty smooth. Whoa, definitely highly recommended. Coffee's very smooth, tastes really nice, but with coconut milk. I only got into the coconut milk when I came back here to New Zealand from Australia. Came back here, everybody's drinking co coconut milk. So, and it's got a really nice taste and this coffee's it's just right. Very good coffee. You know what, I'll give this coffee an eight. Eight out of 10, definitely. Wow, and I'm not just saying it. The coffee's actually pretty pretty mean. This is hectic. The coffee is the business. Definitely the business, and I highly recommend it. So make sure you pull up, support these guys here in Hatara Village. Great coffee. So let's move on to the next spot. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm outside Midnight Espresso here in Cuba Street. Now this is one of the most iconic coffee spots here in the city. It's been around for a long time. People would know Midnight Express is the OG of all the coffee shops here in uh, Cuba Street. We're going to try out their coffee. Wow. 
Ooh. Hey, bro. Sorry, can I just leave my coffee down here? Here's to the lovely lady that hooked me up with the coffee. Thank you for the coffee. Whoa, nice. Now that's a flat white latte. Very smooth. Tastes really good. Now, I don't know, it's, maybe it's how they make their beans, coffee beans, but it went down a treat. That is definitely an 8.5 out of 10. Might even get very bordering nine. This is very good. So I highly recommend you people come down here to uh, Midnight Espresso, Midnight Espresso in Cuba Street. So how was how was the cafe? Good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah very good. Yeah. How was the coffee, my friend? Um, I take uh, one coffee and one bigger. Yeah. yeah. It's a really good place. Yeah. Uh, I recommend for you. Yeah. Highly recommended. Uh, yes. Yeah, See? yeah, I recommend. Oui? Yeah. Let's okay. Super, c'est super bien. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Messi. <laughs> so I'm glad I met these guys. International, put a bit of international flavor into our into our video. All the way from France, trying out the coffee in Wellington, and they highly recommend it. So thank you very much. Uh, Merci. À la Merci. prochaine. Et puis abonnez-vous. Salut. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. See me. Samaus. Yo, I'm back. I'm back. My man is back. In Arsenal, Arsenal jersey. Come on, man. What's your Manchester City jersey? <laughs> no, none of that. None of that. <laughs> okay, brother. Today's today's question is: um, What makes a good coffee? Oh, what makes a good coffee? I'd say a nice cream on top, and you put some Milo on top too. You yeah, get a nice coffee. It's my favorite. Nice mocha. Yeah. Latte. Yeah. Um, yeah, and a lot of love. A lot of love. A lot of love. There you go. There you go. Okay, but tell the people where is your coffee? Go to spot in, in, in all right. My go to, my go to, Evil Twins, Evil Twins Coffee down um, Willow Street, Willow oh. Street, best coffee in town, best oh. coffee in the world. You guys just got a free plug for my man, free plug. So, yeah, check them out, check them out. Okay, all good. You make sure you hook him up with a free coffee next time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, okay, who's my all man? Good. Okay, yeah, what's up, guys? And now I'm in Newtown, and the reason why I'm in Newtown, I came out here to check out a coffee, uh, coffee spot in Newtown, it's called Black Coffee. Now people have been raving on about this coffee shop in the city, so let's go check these guys out. Let's go, vamos, let's go. So let's go. Hello, how's it going? Good day, how are you, Cass? Good, good. Now, can you give the people your name? Uh, yeah. Before we start. Yes, hi, I'm Carmel. Welcome to Black Coffee, everyone. This okay. is our little coffee shop. And We've, this is your establishment. This is this is this is uh, Paige over here. This is our establishment together. She's hiding behind the coffee machine. Hey, what's happening? She's, she's boss lady. Yeah. And she makes the best coffee in Wellington. We are. And that's why we. So, can you explain about the, you know, the coffee that you guys make? What's sure. it? What's the difference between? Let's say your coffee and other coffee, is other coffees in other shops. <laughs> so we we use black coffee Raven blend. It's our own signature oh. blend of coffee. Yeah. We roast it up in the Cuppity Coast by Dark Horse. Okay. They roast our beans. It's a really dark, smooth roast. It's got chocolatey undertones, um, and um, and yeah, it's it's specially brewed just for us. You can't get it anywhere else in the world. You have to come and try one. Let us make you a coffee cup. Okay. But uh, one question I've been asking everybody. What do you think, what makes a good coffee? Oh, it's, it's the barista. It's a lot of it comes down to the barista. It's how you, okay. how you pour the coffee, how you extract the coffee, um, and of course the beans as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries. Well, we're going to taste the coffee. We're going to tell you people at home. This coffee is for you. Thank you. <laughs> so it's all, it's an art, you know, making coffee is an art form, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at that. Look at that people. A lot of love TLC in this coffee. Thank you. I'll go outside and review it outside. So thank you. No worries. I'll come back and tell you about it. <laughs> So you guys just got our coffee and thank you so much for hooking up the coffee. So we're going to go to the courtyard. So I'm outside in the courtyard now because it's quite a lot of people inside and also it's a bit dark inside so it's better filming out, out here. And thank you to these guys for hooking up the coffee. Flat white actually. So flat white. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go. We're going in. Wow, nice, great coffee actually, amazing, it's smooth, um, it's, it goes down really well and the aroma of the smell of the, of the coffee is very, very nice, I wish you guys can smell it through the camera but obviously you can't, great coffee and I tell you what, this coffee lives up to the hype, people told me you need to go to Black Coffee Newtown, I'm glad I came to Black Coffee Newtown. You guys, fantastic. You guys are hectic. This is hectic coffee. Make sure people pull up to um, Black Coffee here in Newtown. It's a very cool establishment. And uh, the people here are happy, so, so nice. And they hooked your boy up with a coffee. And I give this an 8.5 to a 9. Very, very good. 9 and plus, they, do, they, they roast their own beans, they said. So make sure you guys go show some uh, some love show some support uh to these guys here in newtown catch them on ig i'm sure they got an instagram page and follow them and not only that if you're in the wellington region make sure you pull up newtown black coffee wow so i just came out of uh black coffee and i tell you hectic their coffee's boss so make sure you people pull up and support these guys in Newtown, Black Coffee. And tell them, because I can't send you guys. That's what's up. Very good. Great people. So today we are going to check out this coffee spot. It's called Customs. Now, Customs here are in Guzzly Street. Let's go check them out. How's it going, brother? Okay, what's your name? My name's Tim. This is my shop. It's called okay. Customs. Yeah. And uh, the question I'm asking everybody, what makes a good coffee? Oh, man, that's such a good question. Good, good quality ingredients, good, good beans, good milk, and then young star like this on the machine. Yeah, there you go. And having a, a great team, right? Yeah, your team's awesome. So, really important. Oh, so that's this... Yeah. Yeah. That's just the shop. Okay. This is it. This is how it's done for you, coffee connoisseur. You gotta be professional like my man Charlie here. How long how long you been making coffee, brother? I've been making coffee for two years. Yeah. Um, this is my set, yeah. Halfway through my second year actually. Okay. So yeah, I love it, it's great fun. Uh, I was working in Dunedin, making yeah. coffee down there, and then I moved back up here last year. Yeah. Um, and all my friends that were living in Wellington said you have to come work at Cosmos. Okay. Yeah, quick, quick question. What makes a good coffee? What makes a good coffee? Ah, uh, where do we start? So the shop's the most important part for a milky coffee. Yeah. So nice balance, clean equipment, um, and then perfectly textured milk. You know? Okay. And then just a balance, you know? Here you have it, people. Charlie giving you guys the 411, giving you guys the lowdown. I don't know if that was sufficient, but <laughs> let's see. Okay, making two flat whites. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So this is the coffees. The coffees just just came in. And this is my friend here. How's it going? What's your name? Hey, I'm Leah. Hi Leah, 
and Leah's from Mandatory. So you can find Leah in Mandatory uh, Menswear, which is one of the best shops in the whole city. And you'll find them here in Guzzley Street. Yeah, thanks, Cos. Okay, um, today's content, we're, we're talking about what makes a good coffee. What makes a good coffee is a great balance of strength, and smooth. So I like a strong coffee, but I like it smooth okay. as well. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are hearing it from an expert coffee connoisseur. What, what did you get? Uh, I got an oat milk flat white, which is kind of my, it's always my go-to actually. Yeah. It's got good strength and uh, then the oat milk just takes the edge off. So it's just the perfect balance. And we're here at Customs, which is just the local favorite. Yes. Yeah, we so, love it. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Perfect. Oh, this is great. Man, you can smell the aroma of the coffee. It's smooth. It's definitely great. It's a great coffee, guys. Wow. Definitely highly recommended. This place here. What's the name of this place again? Customs. This is Customs Coffee down on Guzzley Street. Supreme Coffee. Supreme Coffee. That is Supreme Coffee. And we're coming direct from Custom Customs here on Guzzley Street. So, how was your coffee? Perfect. Yeah? Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Made with love always. Yeah. See that, guys? Coffee made with love. Mucho amor. Ah, that's for the Spanish speakers watching from wherever you are uh, watching it from, Ola Miente. And we're drinking coffee here in Wally. Great coffee. And um, you know what, guys? I would give this coffee definitely an 8.5 out of 10. High score. Wally, if you know coffee, then you know. Hello. How are you? I'm, I'm awesome today. Look at this weather. I know, great the weather, right? Day, yeah. Okay, um, the question today is what makes a good coffee? For me, it's um, the love that the barista, yeah. you know, the time and the energy that the barista puts into making the coffee. It just comes out, especially here at Customs, it comes out smooth but bold I just yeah that makes it for me it's the barista so you've been regularly coming to this spot oh my God, yeah yeah my, my body is like, <laughs> yeah. I can't walk past without getting a coffee and they're yeah. just so lovely in there so highly recommended right oh my gosh absolutely I give what? it a 9-8 9-8 yeah it's a nice nine eight. yeah or that's an all-around score just man there you they <laughs> there you've heard it a 9-8 yeah. high marks definitely it's a spot you guys must come in and check out down here in uh, on Guzzley Street and the place is called Customs the place is called Customs Coffee so make sure you pull up support local business because you get a good brew here great coffee great people great service awesome owner I just met the guy so pull up you know nothing but the best here in Welly Wow, it's so bright. So we just been to customs, checked out the coffee, and I tell you, highly recommend it. They won't disappoint you. So make sure you pull up to customs here in Cusney Cus Street. Great coffee spot. Thank you, guys. Salute. Let's move. Let's go. Next spot. What do you guys recommend, brother? We're gonna go for the oak flat white, bro. Okay, oak yeah. flat white. That's what most of the people get here, right? And tell, tell the people the name of the spot. Mm, that's it. Well, what's the name of the spot? Oh, name of the spot. This yeah. is uh, Raglan Roast on Abel Smith Street, number 40. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Come through. So, now we see the boys at work. So make sure you people pull up. Come and see these guys here. I live there. Oh, well, I'll give you a link and I'll put the name of the shop on the content. Quick question, what makes a good coffee, brother? 
I reckon you get a nice, strong, like, smooth shot going, and then pop top that on top, just some silky milk. Yeah, that, that's what you. That's, that's what's here. There. That's that's what you need to get. Yeah. But then you you blend it together nicely. I think it's a lot about the pour as well. Yeah. What's okay. that? The pour is important. I'll make sure your crema stays on top yeah. of the coffee. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't get too blended in with the rest of it. There you go, people. Up close and personal. My oat flat white. Let me try the oat flat white. Cheers, guys. Mm. Wow, great coffee. Whoa, very smooth, very smooth. And you know, the taste is, it tastes really good. You know, not as bitter as other coffees. This one's very smooth and highly recommended. It. It's the business, as cars would say, it's the business. Whoa, really nice. Thanks, guys. Now, um, the one you just made for me, what was that? I made you an oat flat white, man. Um, that's kind of what a lot of the customers here drink. We're noticing like more and more people are choosing alternative milks and oat milk, especially. Almost maybe we go through maybe forty liters of oat milk a day here. Wow. So, yeah, we. It's definitely the the milk of Wellington at the moment. I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Tell people to turn up to the to the place. And yeah, come down to Abel Smith Street, um, check out Raglan Roast. We've got four other locations throughout Wellington as, as well, over at Holland Street, uh, Willis Street. Just opened a new shop up on the terrace as well, and we're down on the beautiful waterfront at the Shaper's Dock as well. Yeah, there we have it, people. Yeah. Wally, good coffee. Wellington's known for its coffee, right? It sure is. It's like, it's kind of the, the blood of the capital, isn't it? It's what we are, what everyone feeds off of. So it's, it's cool to be a part of a everyone's morning routine because no one no one goes through Wellington without drinking a coffee at least once a day and that's it so there we have it raglan roast great coffee man and guess what guys it was only four dollars so value for money and it tastes good how good is that so big ups to raglan roast